I get so caught up in the middle Thinking of drowning in those blue eyes I'm losing sight Hey guys, welcome to today's vlog. I just got in a little while ago. My son is napping, so I figured I would jump on just to chat with you guys a little bit. I do have some things from American Eagle that I picked up that I wanted to share with you guys. And a couple things that I picked up from Target. I was at Target today, and they actually opened up the Ulta in my Target. I did also want to let you know that yesterday I had my third treatment of the PRX T33. That is the skin rejuvenation treatment that I have a good friend of mine that she's doing on me it's a four treatment process if you guys didn't catch my last vlog I do have some footage from the first and second treatment and I did film a little yesterday just to share with you guys again for those of you who love skincare like myself figured you would be interested in seeing that my skin feels pretty good right now it feels nice and tight and with this treatment you do not want to peel so you want to stay well moisturized you can wear makeup the day after so I am wearing makeup today although a lot of it is coming off as you can see see but in a little bit I will wash off my makeup and I will actually apply more more, more moisturizer because you want to moisturize three times per day after you get the treatment so I will be doing that in a little bit but um in the meantime I did want to like I said I want to share some of the things I picked up from American Eagle so let me just get the bags I have them right here and ironically, I am wearing an American Eagle t-shirt today. However, I did not get it from this trip. And I want to say their t-shirts are so soft. I love that they feel like nice and worn in. So if you guys have not tried their gray t-shirts like this, I did get this in the men's department. Uh, definitely try them because they're like the softest t-shirts. Even to sleep in, they feel so comfortable. So the first thing I did pick up is this little flannel with a hood try to get the whole thing in there for you so yeah it's just a little flannel with a little like sweatshirt material hood so I really do like this I think it's gonna be super comfortable and I did want to add that everything I picked up is very casual so the next thing I picked up is this sweatshirt here and I did get this in a size small because this was the only one they had left but I love the color I think the color is just so nice for the fall and I could wear this with leggings or jeans I did also pick up this sweatshirt that's just like a gray sweatshirt. This I got in a size, oh, also a size small. Usually I get a medium or large, so I'm not really sure why I picked up smalls, but maybe because it looks oversized. But this just says American Eagle in the red, and I really do like that. I also picked up this hoodie. And I love this color too. I think this is another color that's great for the fall. And I did pick up another t-shirt that's similar to this one. And this one has American Eagle written on it in green. And this is a size medium. Again, this is from the men's section. And I picked up these jeans. And I think these are so cute. They're like a faded black with distressing. I love the distress the distressing on the back pockets. And I love American Eagle jeans. I think that they're so comfortable and they really fit me really nicely. So I really do like that. And I did pick mine up in a size four. And these are the high rise jeggings. So I did go with a size four on that. So yeah, that is, I think it, that's all that I picked up. And I love American Eagle. They're probably one of my favorite brands for jeans because I feel like their jeans are just so comfortable and they fit me so nicely. So if you haven't checked out American Eagle, which I'm sure a lot of you already have, but if not, definitely check them out if you like casual and just comfortable clothing. And from Ulta and Target, I only picked up a few things. I did pick up this Born This Way, the Super Coverage Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. And I have never tried this before. I know so many people rave about this, but I haven't tried it. I did pick mine up in the shade Swan. So I'll take it out and I'll swatch it for you guys. So it just looks like this. I have tried their foundation, but I never tried the concealer. It just has a nice doe foot applicator. And I just wanted to swatch it, so it just looks like that. And it is light, but I'm probably going to use this underneath my eyes. Or actually, I've been using concealer just in the corner and the outer part of my eye lately. I know that's like a new thing. They say it does lift your eyes a bit, so I like doing that. The next thing I picked up is this Continuous Setting Mist from Morphe. 
and I love that it has that continuous spray. It's almost like an aerosol spray. So I really, really wanted to try that. And I also picked up this Plump Shot Collagen Infused Serum from Buxom. And I already tried it. I opened it up in the car. I couldn't wait because my lips felt so dry. But this is a really nice, I believe it's a gloss. I mean, they say it's a serum, but it goes on like a gloss. And it's super moisturizing and I feel like it does plump up your lips a bit. And lastly, I picked up this toner from The Ordinary and this is the Glycolic Acid 7% Toning Solution. And I love The Ordinary's products. I think they are priced so well for such re like really good skincare. I love their skincare. And I will not be able to use this for a couple weeks though because while I'm in treatment with this PRX treatment, I can't use anything like any kind of acids or anything like that. I'm only allowed to use the serum that I was provided with and the moisturizer. And the serum I was provided with is a glycolic acid serum. And I'm only allowed to use that once a week and the moisturizer, of course. So that is all I picked up from Ulta and Target. And I'm so excited that they finally opened up in my Target. And I will let you know that it's definitely not a full size Ulta in my Target. I don't know what it's like in other Targets, but mine is definitely a smaller scale Ulta. But still, it is still great that they have it. So I am super, super excited about it. It's getting a little late now, so I'm going to go check on my son, and if he's still sleeping, I'm going to have to wake him up from his nap. Otherwise, he will never sleep for me tonight. And then I have to figure out what I'm going to make for dinner because I honestly have not even thought about dinner today. Normally, I'll plan out the day before or the morning of. Some weeks, I'll plan out for the week, but usually, I do the day before. But I have not even thought about what I'm going to make for dinner. So what do you guys normally do? Do you guys normally plan out your dinners for the week? Do you think of it the day of? or do you just wing it like I am right now? Let me know down in the comments. I just actually got back from Target. I did pick up some things that I wanted to show you guys. I got a lot of things from the dollar spot. My dollar spot is actually putting out all the Christmas decorations and things like that. So I did pick up quite a few things from there. I wanna show you guys a couple of food items and a couple of clothing items, really for my husband, not so much for myself, but I just wanna show you guys what I got. I did also go to Ulta the other night and I picked up quite a few things from there, so I wanted to show you guys that too. There is an Ulta in one of the Targets that are, is close to me. However, they don't have a lot of things, so I do actually prefer to go to the Ulta store from time to time. I mean, it's super convenient that Ulta is now in Target, but I do also like to visit the Ulta stores too when I have the chance. I'll show you guys all the things I picked up from Target first, and then I'll show you everything I got from Ulta. So from Target, first I got some jalapeno peppers because I love making jalapeno margaritas. I actually make a low carb jalapeno margarita now, so if you guys do want me to share the recipe, just let me know down in the comments, but it's really, really good. I also wanted to try these little meals, whoop, these little meals, and these are from Healthy Choice, and these are for low carb lifestyles. This one is the carne asada, and this is eight grams of net carbs. And then I also did pick up this tomato basil chicken, and it does look like it has some pasta, and this has 10 net carbs in it, so that should be good just for like a lunch or something like that. Something I wanna share with you guys that I'm absolutely obsessed with, and my son actually really likes these too, and he always asks for them, but these are the Quest cookies. They are the frosted cookies. These do not taste, they only have one gram of sugar in them, and one gram of net carbs. And these do not taste low carb at all. They are like almost like one of those soft bakery cookies with the icing on it. They're so, so good. So if you haven't tried these, I highly recommend. I also picked up some more of my Quest chips. These are their protein chips and I love these so much. I love the ranch and I also do love the nacho cheese. They are just like a low carb version of Doritos in my opinion. So I really do like these and these have four grams of net carbs per bag. I actually got two bags of these because my husband and myself go through these like crazy. I also got two packages of cheese. I got the ultra thin provolone. These are so great to make like little like meat wraps with and I did get some Munster cheese because I love that. I also did pick up this Good and Gather jalapeno salsa 
and if you're wondering why I'm holding it upside down it is because it fell on the floor before and broke so that is really unfortunate because I was dying to try this I also picked up this hoodie for my husband and this is from Goodfellow and Company and I love that brand or Goodfellow and Co and I just love this color for fall and it's like a lightweight hoodie but it's very very soft and comfortable I also did pick him up this button-down flannel also from the same brand and I just think these colors are really nice for fall so I hope he does like these I got this little long sleeve tee from Cat and Jack and I love this brand too I think they make really cute clothes for toddlers especially and for myself I picked up another one of these tanks and this is from Isabel maternity and no I am NOT pregnant but I love these tanks I wore them a lot when I was pregnant and I just continue to wear them because they're nice and stretchy yet they are kind of like form-fitting and they kind of have like I don't want to say like elastic -y material but the material is really really nice and it just like flatters everybody I think so I did want to pick up another one of these I have a ton of these and like I said I just I love these these are my favorite tanks actually I'm wearing one right now so you can tell how much I love them okay moving on to my favorite which is all the items I picked up from the Target dollar spot and the first thing I picked up is this little blanket and this is super super soft this was only five dollars and I will tell you in a little bit why I picked this one up and who it's for I also picked up one of these little zippered pouches and I like that it's a little bit see-through I'll probably keep snacks in this for my son in my bag and this was only a dollar so that was a good deal as I was saying before my target has all of their holiday items out so I did pick up quite a few things from there and the first thing I got were these little ceramic trees and I did get one big one and three of the little ones I thought these would be really cute for my myself and my son to paint and they come with two of the paints and a little brush there and this one comes with this one actually comes with three paints the bigger one so I thought that these would be really good for a craft night and the larger one was three dollars and the smaller ones were only a dollar I know they had some Santas too but I just figured the trees would be easier for him to paint I love the dollar spot dish towels so I did pick up a few more I have a ton of these and they last so long I love the Buffalo check and then this one just says have yourself a merry little Christmas and I love that saying and these were five dollars another crafting item I picked up is this little snow globe and this is all glass and this is going to be so cute I think I want to make a little like Grinch scene for my son's bedroom because every year I do a Grinch tree in there and I do like little Grinch decorations if you guys want to see that let me know I did some like handmade Grinch Grinch decorations last year um, but he loves the Grinch and we've already been watching it a ton of times so I think I'm gonna use that for that they also had these little ceramic lanterns which I think are so cute I picked this one up this has like little snowflakes they did have some red ones and some green ones too I'll probably get more when I go back if they still have them and this was only five dollars so you can put a little candle in there I also picked up this two pack of these little glass jars and they do have Merry Christmas tags on them and I got these I think they will be super cute to display in my coffee bar I'll probably do like little marshmallows in one and do maybe some hot cocoa in the other but I thought they were really really cute and these were only three dollars which I think is a really good deal for that and finally I picked up another mug like I need another mug like I need a hole in my head but this one just said homebody and I couldn't resist it I thought it was so cute and I believe this was three dollars it doesn't seem to have a price but I'm pretty sure it was three dollars so those are all the items I picked up from Target now let's move on to Ulta the first thing I got is this phenomenal tanning mousse and this is from Vita Liberata and I've never tried any of their products but I heard that they're really really good and what intrigued me about this is it did say a two to three week tan mousse on it so if this lasts for two to three weeks and this is, of course is a self tanner but if this lasts for two to three weeks I mean I'll continue to buy it I did get mine in the dark I always get myself tanners in the dark I never really go for like a light or a medium I also got this really beautiful lip gloss and this is from LA girls and this is in the shade fantasy and it's their iridescent shiny lip gloss and again like look how beautiful that is it just has like the nicest amount of shimmer and I think it's such a pretty pretty color 
so I can't wait to try that. I'm sure you guys have seen the stamp on brows. They are all over TikTok and Instagram. And I did pick up a kit from Amazon because I wanted to try them out. However, the stencils they came with were super large and they definitely did not fit my face. And they came with quite a few, but like I said, they did not fit my face at all. So I did remember that a while ago, I used to use the stencils from Anastasia Beverly Hills, and they do have a petite one, so I wanted to pick up this little set here, and I'm going to try these with the stamp that came with the stamp on brows. So this is the petite arch that I used to use, and this fits my face really well, and it came with four others so it does come with five stencils which I think that's good and I believe it was like $20 for this and normally I would not like to spend that much because I think the kit that I got from um, Amazon I think that was only like $9.99 so it's unfortunate I had to spend $20 on this but I didn't really have a choice I picked up two of these shockwave lip liners from LA girl and these are really inexpensive too let me see if I can open them so I can swatch them for you so this one is in the shade nude and that is just a really nice brownie nude and let me tell you these are really creamy that just went on really easily so I do like my lip liners to be creamy just in case I want to fill in my entire lip oh wait a minute okay I'm sorry this first one was the shade gingerbread so that is gingerbread right there sorry about that guys and then this one is the shade maple glaze so this looks it's kind of similar I don't know what do you guys think it looks kind of similar, but I really like both of these. I like more of the brown tone nudes, so I'm sure I'm going to love those. Another thing I've been seeing all over TikTok and Instagram is this True Skin Foundation, and this is from Catrice. Now, I did pick up one of these from Amazon, which I have upstairs right now, so I'm sorry I don't have it down here to show you guys, and I really liked it. However, it was really light for my skin, so I know this one is too dark for my skin, but I figured that I can mix the two together and get the perfect shape hopefully and this is in the shade 080 this is natural pecan so if you guys haven't tried these these are really really good now these are supposed to be hydrating foundations they're supposed to have hyaluronic acid in it so I do like that and it is long wear and when I used it I only used the other one a few times maybe like once or twice but it is definitely a medium coverage so I did like it wow I was trying to rub off the lip liner and it is really staying put so I guess these are supposed to be long wear I also picked up this even better foundation from Clinique and this is supposed to even out your skin tone and reduce the dark spots on your skin which I really need help with because I have a lot of hyperpigmentation you guys know that if you've been following me for a while I always talk about my hyperpigmentation and I got this in the CN 52 neutral and this has an SPF of 15 in it, which is not that much, but it's supposed to even and correct. So I'm really interested to try this. I'll let you guys know if I like it. I also picked up this nail polish from OPI, and this is in the... Wait a minute. Okay, this was supposed to be Bubble Bath. That's what I get for not looking. And Bubble Bath was the shade that I had on my nails previously when I had my nails on, but I did take them off. Um, but that was bubble bath and that's what I thought this was it was obviously in the wrong spot But this is mimosas for mr. And mrs. I mean it still looks like a very similar color So hopefully I like that I also picked up one of these liquid glitter eyeshadows from elf and I've been seeing a ton of people talk about these I got mine in the shade flirty birdie. Let me just take it out so I can swatch it for you guys And normally I'm not really a glitter person However, like I mentioned I did hear a lot of people talking about this and that's actually really pretty pretty. I don't know if that's picking up, but that is really, really pretty. And it's not like really chunky glitter, but I think if you apply a light layer, it won't be as glittery. So I'm really excited to try that. And finally, something else I've been hearing a lot of people talk about is this Maracuja Juicy Lip from Tarte. And I got mine in the shade Grapefruit because whoever I saw talking about it originally was saying that this is a nice shade. And I'm not going to lie, I did try this out in the car when I was on my way home. I did stuff it back in here. But it just looks like this. And it's a really moisturizing, like balmy lip color. So I do like that. I enjoyed it on my lips. It was definitely moisturizing. So I always need, like right now, I need some moisture on my lips. So let me actually put some on. 
And I apologize, but my lips are super dry and flaky right now, so it probably doesn't look the best on me. But I really do like it. I think it's a nice formula. And I also like that it has this little click here, so you can push up the lip product that way. So that is all that I have picked up from Target and Ulta. And I know you guys love when I share these little hauls with you. So I did have some really exciting news to share with you guys. And if you follow me on Instagram, you already know. So if you're not following me on Instagram, I'm not super active there, but I'll go through my little spurts where I will be one week I'll be super active and then maybe I won't post as much but I do try to post in the stories there so again if you're following me over there you know and um, many of you already know or if you don't know we had lost our French Bulldog uh, August 30th actually so what are we okay it's 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 getting into like I guess a month and a half now or almost two months that we've lost him and so many of you sent me such sweet messages on Instagram and also left comments the, just the kindest comments on that video I posted about him in the situation and um, there were quite a few of you who told me that I should definitely consider you know bringing another dog into the family so that being said, great minds do think alike and you guys also shared the same thought with my father and my husband because I can actually cry because I just feel so blessed by them. But, and I do feel, um, I know this might sound crazy to some of you, but I do feel that Enzo did have something to do with this. I don't know, I do believe in that. So I do think he is behind this too. But my father had surprised me with a Frenchie that looks very, very similar to Enzo, and he's just the doll, so you guys are gonna meet him in a little bit. And in the meantime, so we got him first, my dad surprised us with him first, and I have to say, it was also so good for my son, and I know that's why my dad did it also, was also for my son, but not that my son really understood what was going on, but he was asking for him. He kept saying, Enzo, Enzo, and like, if he would see like a picture of him or anything like that. So not that he really totally understood, but I did tell him that Enzo was up in heaven, so you know, if he, if he ever wants to ask about him in the future when he's a little bit older, I can maybe help him to understand a little bit better. But what I'm trying to get at is that the puppy is so great for my son because my other dogs, like they're a little bit older and Enzo was five. So I have two dogs that are 14. So you don't really see them too much because they kind of like are just always in the background, just kind of like laying around and stuff like that. But Enzo and my other female dog, Nala, they were five years old. So they are not super playful and and a lot of times with my son, they kind of like, when he tries to play with them, they would kind of like, you know, walk away from him. Once in a while, they'll play with him too. But anyway, the puppy is super, super playful. So he was like the best thing for my son. And my son has such a good time with him all the time. Now back to my husband, he also had the same thought as my father, but they didn't communicate. And um, he had something else in the works. So now do we not only have one new member of the family, but we have two. Crazy, yes, but I've always been a crazy dog lady and I will continue to be this way for the rest of my life, I'm sure. And uh, again, my son is just over the moon and I'm over the moon, I'm obsessed with them, I love them so much already. And the one that looks like Enzo every single day is reminding me more and more of him. So it's kind of like a double-edged sword because it does make me really miss Enzo a lot and it still makes me really sad. But I also feel like I have kind of like him back again not really but i don't know how to explain it but a lot of times he'll do very similar things like one thing first of all he always lays like enzo like with the back legs out so that's really cute and then he'll do this thing where he'll be on the bed and he'll be cuddling with us and stuff like that and then all of a sudden he'll like just go to the foot of the bed and just like kind of like go and like pass out and like have this really let out this big sigh like he just had the hardest day ever and Enzo did that all the time so it really really reminds me of him so like I said sometimes I think that it's still him like I forget that he's not with us anymore so yeah long story short or I made the story longer than it probably had to be but I'm just over the moon in love with these two guys and again I do feel like Enzo knew how sad I was and I feel like they really are truly a gift from God. So let me stop talking and go grab them so you guys can meet them. And here they are. So this one is Lorenzo. 
he's a little heavy. He's like, he's a big boy. So we've had him for a few weeks now. Um, and he looks so much like Enzo. Enzo was a blue fawn and he's just a fawn. So he does have a little bit more of like a blacker mask on him, but he still reminds me so much of him. And I named him Lorenzo for obvious reasons. I wanted to honor Enzo, but obviously not name him the same exact name, but that is him right here. So I'm gonna put him down cause he's a little heavy and he's probably uncomfortable. And this little sweet girl is Navi, and I actually named her after Enzo's mom. Enzo's mom was also a blue Frenchie, and her name was Navi, so I thought it would be a really nice tribute to both Enzo and his mom to name her after his mom. And she is such a sweetheart. She actually kind of has Enzo's personality to where, like she's a little bit more calm than Lorenzo. Lorenzo, like if he's playing and I pick him up, he's still like kind of like, like almost like in the Friends episode where Phoebe picks up the dog and the dog's doing crazy. He's kind of like that. And she's a little bit more calm. Whereas if I pick her up, she'll just go to sleep in my arms. And uh, yeah, so she's a total sweetheart. They're both sweethearts. They're both excellent. Again, with my son, they're like the best thing that could have happened to him. So, and he just is so in love with them. So these are our new family members and they both keep me so, so busy, as you can imagine. Let me just put her down. Um, most of you already know, if you've been following me, that I'm a huge cleaning freak and uh, knee freak. So puppies are a lot of work, especially if you wanna keep your house nice. And um, this stuff right here, I just keep it out on my counter, this Folex. I have to use this constantly. So for those of you who have puppies or have had puppies in the past, know that they leave little messes everywhere they go. So I'm constantly running after them and cleaning up after them. So they're keeping me really busy, but it is such a great distraction and I'm not complaining at all. Like it's a good busy. So I'm in the process of trying to potty train my two year old as well as these two little guys. So it has been pretty busy. So yeah, I guess that's all I have to say for right now. I'll probably end this vlog here. I had other footage. I don't even know what is on it because it's just been a little bit of a whirlwind these past few weeks. So this vlog is definitely going to be all over the place. And before I go, I wanted to let you guys know I do have another Amazon Favorites coming up. And I wanted to know, would you guys like to see like an Amazon Pets Favorites? I also use Chewy a ton. I love Chewy. I think they're such a great company. And we get like our, most of our dog food and everything from there. So would you guys like to see a Chewy Favorites or like to see what we purchase from Chewy on a regular basis? Because we are on their auto ship, which is another thing that I really love about them. They do provide you with the discount so um yeah let me know down in the comments if you'd like to see any of those they are chasing each other around the house right now so they are so funny i have to show you guys how they play together because they're so adorable before i go i just want to thank you all for being here and for sticking around if you made it to the end of this video let me know in the comments with an emoji if you guys like this video and want to see more vlog style videos where i'll do lots of mini hauls share some recipes with you guys maybe do some workout routines maybe a little cleaning, lots and lots of puppy and toddler madness, then definitely give it a like. Um, again, as always, leave any comments or suggestions, suggestions down below in the comments. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave. That is all I have to say for right now. I love you guys and I'll be seeing you soon. Bye. Oh my